everyone. Once again, I am back for another stuffing. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Christine and welcome to my channel, The Budget Box. I appreciate you clicking on my video today and uh, seeing kind of what we're all about. So um, today is a savings challenge cash stuffing, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll be stuffing $125 into my savings challenges, which is even better. Thought I'd do a quick video today. Um, I'm off from work on a Monday, which is really weird, but I don't know why I scheduled myself that way. But anyway, um, and I have been doing a cleaning frenzy this morning. I decided to rip my TV room apart, literally take out every piece of furniture, everything off the walls, everything off the shelves, clean out all the dog hair. It was what I expected. It wasn't too bad. I, I usually keep up on vacuuming and wax the floors and wash the walls and I washed all the windows. So I'm just waiting for the wax on the floor to dry before I put her back together. So it is on my 2023 um, I don't know, to-do list, I guess, um, to go around to every single one of my rooms and do that because it has been a while. Anyway, okay, let's get the party started. Um, we're going to be stuffing my Savings Challenger binder, donut, cupcake, boxes, everything. So I'm very excited about that. So let's, let's, let's get started. All right. Let's do emergency fund to begin with. And this I am very excited about. So I'm gonna put $30 in on this one um, to finish this row. And I will have 100, 100 more dollars to, to put in. And my emergency fund will be funded at $1,000. And then I will pick another one. So today is the 22nd, I think. Yeah, maybe, I guess so. It is somewhere around there. So this is going to give us $900. Let's do a little coloring just to get some, just to get this row done, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty pumped. So to be honest with you, this has taken me almost a year to put this together. Um, I restarted it in July of last year, so a little less than a year. So it'll be about, what, 10 months to, uh, to refund this again after a family emergency last year. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty psyched about myself because five years ago, I, I couldn't save $5. And now I'm saving thousands of dollars a year. I've been able to max out, well, almost max out, almost max out um, my 401k at work. I think I have about, what, three more percent that I have to put in between this year and next year, and I'll be maxed out at my 15%. So 15% 15, 15 is all they'll let me put in, which is pretty cool. So that is coming along nicely. And then with my change, I'm going to open up a Roth IRA. So really just trying to push forward and get this, get this done. So, okay. So we're going to do 30 here. Oh, let me put this on the side. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's put this where it needs to be. Where, where it need, oh, okay, I see what I did. Because those 50s always screw you up. All right, you ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, seven, 20, 40, 60, 80, eight. 20, nope. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 900. So don't give up, guys. Even if it's just $5, don't give up. 
That's all I've been doing for the past year is literally $10 a paycheck. But it's a mindset. It's a mindset that you have to be in and you have to be patient. And that was a hard thing for me to learn. But it did. And now feels great. Okay. So boxes. Let's do boxes. Boxes. Here's my little Lane Lane's box. And he gets to come over and spend the night at Grandma and Grandpa's. This weekend, which we are pumped about. Very, very excited. Okay. Five, whoops, I don't even know. 522 plus five will give him 205. Oh, I am just, I'm making a mess here today. Is that open? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is his box. It's behind there. So, got a ways to go. But, you know what? We're just going to keep, we're going to keep the road. Keep the road. All right. And here is mine. Mine will also get five. Um... 522 plus 5 will give me 276. Okay. So any of the products that you see right now, I do have available in my Etsy shop. Um, and I do have my Budget boxes on sale. These are not what they look like, um, but you can go to my Etsy shop. These were demos um, that I had put together a while back. So, but yeah, got a while to go. Not going to lie, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Just like my emergency fund, it will get there. Whoops. Okay. So these are finished. What's next on the agenda? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do some extra credit card payments. All right, so this one will get, oh, let's do blue. This one's gonna get five. Oh, I have a glare and I can't see. Okay, okay, okay. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So this should be 40. 20, 30, 35, and 40. Once this is done, it'll be $150. Again, this is just extra money to put towards them. Pay down the money that I put on my Etsy credit card. Well, not Etsy credit card. The credit card I use to fund my startup costs for my Etsy shop. And um, my sleep number bed, I want to get that paid off this year. So a couple things that I am pumped about getting done. Because we will need, or I will need that money to make my big fat loan renovation payments. So we're just trying to get this done as soon as possible. Okay, there should be 40 in here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, I only have 35 in this one. Okay, that's okay, 35. Okay, let's see, All right, this one's from my, see? And she is going to get 10. When this one is done, this will be 400. Hopefully by then I'll have it paid off, but you know, shouldn't take me that much longer to get this one done. All right, $10, $10 on this one. 
So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I should have 80, 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80 dollars. Yay! It's a nice cool day outside today. Got all the windows open and the front door open and feels so nice. Man, my electric bill was awesome because the AC's not on yet and the heat is off. So it was just, I think it was like $70 lower than it normally is, which is fabulous. Okay. This one is my sleep number bed. This is also going to get 10. All right, colored in the lines. My teachers in grade school didn't like me because I never colored in the lines. And they told me that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 20, 40, 60, 70. Because I would purposely color outside the lines and then I would ask them why. Why do I have to color inside the lines? <laughs> I'm a why person. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always asked why. And, um, and that annoys some people because they don't know the answer and they get frustrated. Why? Because it looks pretty? Things are not always pretty. Anyway, okay, let's get on to Donut. This one is by far cute. I mean, this is just freaking adorable. Okay, let's do red and we're going to do 10. Oh, I got a glare. In donut also. So I get paid on Thursday. So I'll do another cash stuffing there. Yay! Okay, $10. Let's see how much we got now. Um, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Should be 32. 20, 30, 31, and 32. Yay! So when this one is done, um, this one will be a, a total of $120, and I don't know what I'm saving it for. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let's, ooh, these are my favorite. These are my little puppies. Puppies. These are little pugs. Aren't they cute? Little puggies. All right. Puggies are going to get five. Oh, well, Lady Di just posted a video. Uh oh. What happened to Cheyenne? Uh oh, what happened to Cheyenne? That doesn't sound good. Girlfriend, what's going on? I gotta watch that find out. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 dollars. Lady Di is very cool. She, I was actually the very first subscriber on her channel. And look at her now, almost 700 subscribers. She's kicking my butt. What am I doing here? But you know, Etsy keeps me busy. I wish I could, I should post more. I should do a lot of things. But she's, she's, I love her channel. She is a hoot, man. She is my pink sister. Okay. So we will do another five in this one. Five. Five, 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 five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty. 
got 30. Oh, my dog is snoring. Poor Summer. She's so old now. She just sleeps all the time. She's 14. That's my little black dog. She, she's been following me around all day while I've been cleaning out my TV room. Literally all day. I go to the kitchen. She follows me. I go back to the, <laughs> to the room. She follows me. <laughs> she's exhausted. Oh, okay. German Shepherd gets five. My little puppy German Shepherd. Although I would never have a puppy German Shepherd anymore. I'm too old for that. Nine-year-old German Shepherd is just fine for me. Okay. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okie dokie. My savings challenge binder is completed. Yeah, making some progress on them. So these here are the trackers for donut. So some of them are done. Like the first three of them are done. Uh, and my blank ones are in the back. So those, it's just a, a holder. Okay. That one is completed. Uh, let's see. All right. So this is donut. So this is my current tracker. She is a budget roll. Look how cool she is. I love this thing. This is so cool. Okay. So the denominations that I chose was 20, 50, 100, 150, 200, blah. You know what? Hold on. That's better. 250, 300, and 350. So currently right now, my 25 is done, my 50 is done, my 100 is done. Okay, so I've got $175 completely saved. And I'm working on my 150, okay? So this is the tracker that goes with it. Again, I have these in my Etsy shop. They're a blast to make. Okay. Um, 20, 40, 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So on my tracker that I made for 150, um, each one of these icons is worth 10. Oh, got to find my yellow. Got to color in my chocolate chip cookies. So Memorial Day is coming up. I hope everybody remembers lost ones, veterans, people that you love. Um, it's a very surreal time for me. My brother, back in the very, very late 80s, um was in the military he was still active and um five ten oh twenty forty sixty seventy i'm missing a ten. Oh no there it is okay sorry all right that should be 20. Actually, I'm going to change this out because um, I'm going to stuff cupcake and I only want to put a 20 in there. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. That's good to know I have fives in here. Um, he was active in the military. He was in the Air Force. Um, and um, he actually committed suicide. So his reasoning behind it was very disturbing but um and he did it on memorial day so it's kind of a it was over 30 years ago so it was in the late 80s but um so it's kind of a surreal um but then i look at the flip side and my grandson was born on memorial day so you know there's that connection there um but we miss him i think about him all the time um it's funny though because Every, um, since his passing and, um, since 
his passing in the late 80s, I have moved quite a few times. Every single, every single uh, town I have lived in or have driven through or something like that um, has had a road named, not named after him, but his name. So his name was Carl. So every single town that I have lived in, um, I have either passed, driven down, or drive by every single day. Um, so when I moved to South Dakota, I'm like, there is no way in the world that, you know what I mean? I am going to, I'm, I'm going to see a, um, a call road or a Carl street. And lo and behold, yep. When I make that one big, long highway run, there was a new development that went in just when I, when we moved here 18 years ago and lo and behold, there's a Carl road. Um, so I always know he's with me. Um, always, you know, so sometimes you just, you come to terms with what is, you know, what has happened in your life. Um, I know that there'll be a day when him and I will come face to face and I'll beat the living, living crap out of him. But, you know, um, I guess he was just at the end of his rope. And I think the part for me that um, was difficult at the very beginning was... Um, on the, on the day he committed suicide, he called me at work and, and he always used to call me sunshine. And I picked up the phone at work and he's like, Hey sunshine, you know, how you doing? And I was just about to go into a meeting with my boss and uh, I'm like, let me call you back. I'll call you back tonight. I promise. Da, da, da. I'm just going to a meeting. And that was the last time I ever talked to him. And, uh, and that one was hard to swallow. So, you know, when your family calls you or when somebody stops to talk to you, a loved one, a very good friend, you kind of never know, um, what they're going through. So always make time because you never know whether that's going to be the last time you'll ever talk to them again. So, um, I, re I regretted that for a very, very long time. Um, that hurt quite a bit. Um, donut. Oh, sorry. Cupcake. Stuff and cupcake. Um, so mine is $5, $10, and $20. All my fives and tens are done. So now I am working on my 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I have 13 left. Um, so I will have this done in 13 paychecks or maybe sooner if I can, um, you know, grab money out of my Etsy check or anything like that. So, and when this is done, this will be worth $700, which is phenomenal for me. Um, so if, if family ever calls, if, and I know that life gets very, very busy and I know that we get caught up and we don't ever think that that moment would happen to us or will happen to you, but you just, you don't ever know. And, um, I carried that around for a lot of years, a lot of years. I've come to terms with it now. I mean, he obviously, I, I mean, as I got older, I understood his mental state a little bit better and he was not in a good place. We knew he wasn't in a good place, but we didn't think that, you know, taking his own life would, would, um, would be the end result so so hug your kids before they leave don't ever go to bed mad at your spouse don't ever go to don't ever let your kids leave or don't ever let your kids or your husband leave the house mad and if a family member calls pick up the phone and talk to him because I know firsthand that feeling and it was not it was not a good feeling so remember those that have passed this coming Memorial Day. Memorial Day is not necessarily always about veterans, um, although we happen to think it, it is, but it's about remembering everybody that you've lost. Um, I always make sure that I head over to our local 
um, grave site where my husband's grandparents are buried and aunts and uncles and my mom is buried over there just to kind of say hi and and um, just have a little chat so 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 don't take it for granted ever ever so that is my very sullen video for today <laughs> sorry didn't mean, to, didn't mean to make it so sad <laughs> that was not my intention um, but you know what, but it's real and it's life and some people, you know, never experience that shock and awe. Um, but you'll always experience death at some point in your life. Um, whether it be a parent, a sibling, a friend, a husband, a wife, a child. Um, but just remember the good times that you spent with them. Remember that they are angels um, they are watching over you. You just have to look for it. So, um, all right, everybody, I will, I'll stop talking now. But anyway, that is my savings challenge for today. Um, like I said, I get paid on Thursday and, um, um, I'll do obviously my part one and part two of that. And that's all I got. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your week. Be safe, be careful, and happy budgeting. Bye-bye.